Your quilt top is complete. Now it's time to finish your quilt. Sometimes it can be hard to think of ideas of how to finish or what design should I use. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I finished my Jill quilts. Hi, I'm Julie Patterson of JCT Quilting and I want to help you turn your memories into quilted treasures. In this video, I'll show you how I chose to quilt the Jill. Of course, you can choose to do it your own way and I look forward to seeing what you decide. Please tag at JCT Quilting or hashtag JCT Quilting. But I know sometimes it's helpful to see what other people are doing just to get ideas or uh, to get some inspiration. So I want to share with you what I did. I use a Bernina Q24 with Qmatic and I use edge to edge computerized pantograph designs. And for this quilt pattern, I used three different designs. The fabric was different for each quilt and so it just led me to choose different designs for each one. For the baby clothes memory fabric quilt, I used the Sweethearts Pantograph from Urban Elements. There were hearts and flowers in the quilt, so it worked perfectly. Plus the pantograph was very forgiving for the start and stop that I needed so that I could stop the quilting with all the interactive pieces. For the quilt with the Tula Pink Moon Garden fabric, I decided to go with the diagonal plaid diamond cut pantograph from Urban Elements. There were some similar shapes and similar lines in the fabric and I felt this pantograph just played off that fabric beautifully. For the third quilt made of Art Gallery Fabrics Pure Solids line, I liked this wishbone pantograph from the Long Arm League. I felt that it highlighted the diagonal nature of the fabrics without drawing too much attention away from the fabrics and the design of the quilt. I hope this video was helpful as you're trying to decide how to finish and quilt your joke quilt. I can't wait to see your final product, so don't forget to tag at JCT Quilting when you show it on social media.